This is a wire. They come in two flavors, red and green. They can connect things, a lot of things. Here's an exhaustive list of everything that they can connect. But why should we want to connect things? Well, that's because instead of power, these wires transmit information. Information comes in the form of signals. Signals all have a type and a value. For example, along this wire, the signal's type is iron plates, while its value is 1. If we add more iron plates, its type remains the same, but the value is now 5. Now if we add a different item, another signal appears with its own value. Wires can carry any number of signals, even if there's so many that you can't even see them all when you mouse over a pole. Well, if wires carry information, what happens when we connect two wires with different signals? Easy, they get added together. Two iron plate signals of 5 become 10, and the copper and steel signals that weren't there previously now appear. But this is where I want you to escape from the notion that signals represent real items. If I add in a constant combinator and set its output to iron plates with a value of negative 5, it also gets added to everything else on that wire, and now we're outputting a value of 5 even though there's 10 plates in the chests. Further, I can use this to multiply everything by 5, now we're displaying 25. The physical items didn't change, I just played with the signal. Instead of representing actual items, think of these wired chests as constant combinators that continuously output their contents as signals. So we know they carry information, but what's that information for? It's controlling stuff. If we connect our wires to this inserter, we're given a whole host of options, but we're focusing on Enable Disable. With that mode set, we can go to the bottom and click on this left box and select Iron Plates. Then we choose the operator. Let's go with Greater Than. And now in the left box, we enter 5. Now the inserter will only turn on if there's an Iron Plate signal with a value greater than 5 in that wire. And when we reconnect this box, it activates. This is all you really need to know. But what's the green wire for? Same as the red wire, it just isolates the signal so they won't be added together. But if they're both plugged into the same machine, they'll be added together internally within that machine. We've got things that send signals and things that are controlled by them, but there's another thing that modifies them, and that's where the combinators come in. Combinators take in signals, perform an operation, then spit out signals. This is the input side, this is the output side. Don't get them mixed up, and don't connect to them unless you know what you're doing. They have separate red and green connections, but they're functionally the same. Think of it as dumping all of the signals into a big bucket inside. The decider combinator takes a signal from that bucket and compares it to another signal or a constant, then outputs something based on that result. Here, if copper plates is greater than zero, we'll output one of the red signal, which turns on this lamp. We can set it to output the input count, but nothing will happen because there's no red signals as input. If we add them as a constant, now they're let through. Arithmetic combinators take input, perform a math operation, and spit out the result. We can add, subtract, multiply, and do lots of other scary operations. Multiplying copper by iron means the respective values are multiplied, but you need to choose the actual signal it outputs. If we wanted to, we could add zero to copper, then output the iron signal, effectively morphing the signal. This is why I told you to forget physical items. Each times two outputs each, and now we've multiplied every signal by two. That's the basics. If you want to know more, check out the advanced course. Okay, bye.